We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Hello and welcome to this special video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here. We thank God for another day. We thank God that it is Sunday. It is another day to press on and to press in. Our God is with us. He's fighting for us. The Bible says God goes before us and he fights the battles. And therefore we must be courageous and we must be strong. Go for God with all of your might because God loves you and he is pushing on and fighting for you and he is delivering you. Even at this present moment, it might seem as though things are quiet and nothing is happening, but believe me, God is fighting for you behind the scenes and he is delivering you. He is faithful and he delivers his children. He sees them through and God is going to deliver you. Today, I want to pray special prayers for deliverance from sudden attacks of the enemy. And in this season, many people have written in that they have undergone sudden attacks. And I trust, know, and believe as we pray today, God is going to bless you. God is going to see you through. Now, let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, lift up your hands as a sign of surrender and say this with me. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, bless me, touch me, Help me to pray today. Help me to receive my deliverance. Help me to go to another level, a greater glory and a greater altitude for the glory of King Jesus. I ask this in Jesus name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. Now, my dear friend, God is with us. God is fighting for us. God is delivering us. God is fighting for you wherever you are. In the season, there have been many sudden attacks unexpected attacks, attacks of the enemy, aimed to limit people to pull them down. But I've got good news for you. As long as you are going for God, you are on the winning team. The Bible makes it clear, if God be for us, who can be against us? They may come against you and try and fight. They may try and attack you. The enemy, the devil and his cohorts may come against you but God is stronger than all of them combined. And if God is on your side, you are on the winning team. Be rest assured that as you call upon the name of the Lord, you shall be saved, you shall be delivered, you shall make it through. And whatever attack is coming up against your life, suddenly it shall be diminished, it shall be destroyed, it shall be stopped in its tracks and any weapon that is formed against you shall not prosper. Every word of a curse, of judgment, of negativity that is spoken against you shall not stand. You shall condemn it because God is with you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. So believe in God, trust him and know that he will see you through. We serve a mighty God and he delivered us from the worst position that humanity could be in, and that is a fallen nature. What man was powerless to do, God did in all his wisdom by sending his son Jesus Christ in likeness of man. He came, he lived a sinless life, a pure, holy and blameless life. He came as the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. and. He suffered death on our behalf. He took up our punishment upon himself so that we could be reconciled back to God, so that we could be made clean, so that we could be saved, so that we could be delivered, so that we could be blessed, so that we could be back in the position that God originally intended us to be in before the fall. Jesus Christ made it all possible. And with love in his mind, he endured the cross. He suffered death and was buried, but it didn't end there. He rose again and he is alive. He ascended into heaven and he's seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. I tell you, my dear friend, the fact that Jesus rose again, he rose again so that you could have life and life in abundance. He defeated death. He defeated the devil and his cohorts and he rose up victorious 
and He made a way for us to be saved, to be delivered. So no matter what attack may be coming up against you, understand and know that Jesus has already paid the price. And because of what Jesus has done, deliverance is yours by grace that is afforded to us by the full and finished work of the cross, not by our own works. You may try so many things in your own strength and you will realize that in your own strength you are powerless. Though you don't want to do something, sometimes you end up doing it. The only way we can be saved is by the grace available in Christ because there is not one who is sinless. We all fall short of the glory. We have all made mistakes in some way or another. And Jesus in all his wisdom knew this. So he made a way for us through grace. And by that grace, you can be saved. By that grace, you can be delivered. By that grace, you can receive the blessing that makes rich and adds no sorrow. So even this morning, I want to encourage you. Press in to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Get to know him more. Seek him daily. Seek God. Seek the Father. Seek God in prayer. Seek the Father. He will deliver you. He will see you through. He will make a way for you. And your life will never be the same again. Now in saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. I want to pray with you and for you. And I know, I trust, I believe God is going to bless you. So in saying that, let us begin. Father, thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love that never runs out on us. Thank you, Lord. Your grace is sufficient for us, for your power is made perfect in weakness. By your grace, by your mercy, we shall make it through. You have made a way for us. You deliver us. You see us through. Your grace is sufficient, for your power is made perfect in weakness. By your grace, we shall make it through. By your grace, we shall press on. By your grace, we can do what you have called us to do. By your grace, we will receive deliverance from all demonic attacks. By your grace, we will receive total and complete deliverance. We give you praise and we thank you for this. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Now, my dear friend, we're going to begin to pray. As we begin to pray, I want to encourage you, comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement. And even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend, even right now, let your power, your deliverance, working power begin to manifest and begin to bring divine deliverance. Wherever there are any chains of darkness affecting my dear friend, let those chains begin to break and fall off right now. Let all shackles begin to break and fall off. Bring total and complete deliverance by the grace that is available in Christ to all who believe. For your word says your grace is sufficient for us, for your power is made perfect in weakness. And we recognize that we are nothing without you. We can't do it without you. We can't make it far without you. And we are grateful for all that you do for us. For your grace, for your mercy, for your love towards us. You make a way where there seems to be no way. You make a way in the wilderness. You make a way for us. Be glorified and be magnified. Be lifted high. Be lifted high in my life and in my dear friend's life. Even today, bless my dear friend mightily, mightily, mightily. And take my dear friend up. Wherever there are any sudden attacks of the enemy, Father, I pray that you will intervene and deliver my dear friend. Even in the midst of that attack, give my dear friend peace. Peace that surpasses understanding. Bring total and complete deliverance by the grace available in Christ to all who believe. Set my dear friend free from every form of demonic attack. Be it attacks in the workplace, be it attacks in the business, be it attacks in the career, be it attacks in the home, in the family, amongst the friend circles, be it attacks in health, 
be it attacks while sleeping, deliver, my dear friend, completely. Bring divine deliverance and see, my dear friend, through by your grace that is sufficient. I ask this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. It is done. My dear friend, it is done. Rejoice and be glad, for great is your reward in heaven. May God bless you in this week to come. May God be with you. May God surround you with His goodness and His mercy all the days of your life. May God be with you and cover you under the precious blood of Jesus. May you dwell in the secret place of the Most High and abide under the shadow of the Almighty where it is safe in His presence. And may God open doors of blessing, doors of favor, doors of opportunities, doors of where through His grace, He makes a way for you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you, my dear friend, and thank you for watching this far. God bless you, and I'll see you again soon. Until then, from myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, shalom and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.